It's the day many Illini fans have been on pins and needles waiting for. Star guard Terrence Shannon Jr. can now return to the basketball court. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Karina Rubio, in for Jennifer. In the last two hours, our news team has been sifting through the 38-page document from federal court. This is all in relation to Shannon's civil case when he sued the U of I. It's not connected to his criminal case unfolding in Kansas. WCI3's Andy Olson joins us in studio. Andy, walk us through the court's argument from today. Yeah, Judge Colleen Lawless says the suspension violated Shannon's rights under Title IX and was causing irreparable harm. But she also focuses on the impacts that the suspension had on his name, image, and likeness deals. In the document, she says, quote, because NIL is so new, the court is unaware of any cases addressing the loss of NIL opportunities as irreparable harm. However, it stands to reason that plaintiff's name, image, and likeness is worth very little if he is not on the basketball court. While the likelihood that plaintiff will lose his NIL deal is unclear from the record, the court concludes that the potential loss of NIL opportunities can constitute irreparable harm. We've also reached out to the University of Illinois. Spokesperson Robin Kaler says, quote, we have received the court's order effective immediately. Terrence Shannon Jr. has been reinstated to full status as a university student athlete and will be available for basketball practice and competition. We will continue to review the court order and monitor the case. Again, this is all in regards to the civil case and Shannon suing the U of I to rejoin the team. The criminal case surrounding the rape charges is still unfolding in Douglas County, Kansas. Shannon is due back for his preliminary hearing there on February 23rd. We'll have more about what this means for the Illini on the court coming up later in sports.